In the name of Allah, today I am going to discuss a very important case about an axial masses, lesions or cysts. It may be orion or extra orion in origin. First of all, simple cyst. A cyst is considered simple if it is anechoic, thin wall with posterior acoustic enhancement, no solid component inceptation, no internal vascularity on Doppler, common in premenopausal women, persistent simple non functioning cyst less than 5 cm is always benign but should be followed up. Orient cystadenoma. A cyst is considered orient cystadenoma if it is larger in size, it does not regress, it is mostly seen in postmenopausal age, malignant degeneration is rare and take long time. Confirmation of simple cyst in free menopausal and forced menopausal women are almost the same. If size is 3 to 5 cm, no fall off needed. If size is 5 to 7 cm, describe in the report, yearly fall off is needed. If size is more than 7 cm, need MRI or surgery and risk of torsion or rupture in free menopausal women. Complex cyst. A cyst is considered complex if it is irregular or thickened wall with internal echoes. Internal septation and posterior acoustic enhancement. <coughs> follicular cyst. A follicular cyst develops when fluid in one of the non dominant follicles is not resolved, or when dominant follicle fails to ovulate or inovulate. Follicular cysts are more than 30 mm. These are usually unilateral. Corpus luteal cyst. It is due to failure of absorption or from excess bleeding into the corpus luteum. When ovum is fertilized, it changes to corpus luteum of pregnancy, which become enlarged in cystic. By 16 weeks, the cyst is usually dissolved. Usually unilateral in front to hemorrhage in rupture and sono unilacular unequic structure is seen. Theca luteal cyst. These are associated with high level of human chronic gonadotrophin. These are seen in patients with gestation thromboblastic disease in orion hopper stimulation. These are bilateral, multiple, very large cysts. Hemorrhagic cyst is usually hyper equic mimic solid mass, but with posterior acoustic enhancement, a sclat hemolysis, a reticular pattern with internal echoes in septation is seen, as the clot retract fluid fluid level between clot fluid component may be seen. Peritoneal inclusion cyst are seen mostly after menopause. With history of abdominal surgery, PRD, trauma, and endometriosis. On sonography are multiliculated, and the diagnostic sign is the presence of an intact ori between septation and fluid. The ori may be seen centrally or displaced peripherally. Adhesion is also seen. What is dermoid cyst? These are the most common orion neoplasms in reproductive age group. They account for 10 to 15 percent of all orion neoplasms, and 10 percent of these are bilateral. They are composed of derivative of three germ layers: ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. Because ectodermal elements generally predominate. Cystic teratoma are virtually always benign and are also called dermoid cysts. Sonographic feature of dermoid cyst: number one, dermoid plaque. 
usually contain mature epithelial elements, a combination of skin, hair, discomethyl epithelium, teeth, and sebum, a fluid of lipid density. Number two, tip of iceberg sign. A mixture of method hair and sebum is highly echogenic because of multiple tissue interfaces and it produces ill defined acoustic shadowing that may obscure the posterior wall of a lesion, and this is called tip of iceberg sign. Number three, dermoid mesh. Multiple linear echogenic foci may be seen within the cyst and our hair fibers, this is called dermoid mesh sign. Number four, part fluid or hair fluid level may also be seen in dermoid cysts. Number five, floating ball sign is another pathognomic of dermoid cysts. Sign and symptom of dermoid cyst. Most cases are asymptomatic. However, patient may feel abdominal pressure, abdominal pain, acute abdomen due to cyst structure or torsion. The risk of malignancy always benign, but in 2% of cases may change into malignancy. Risk of malignancy increase when there is rapid growth of cyst, age more than 45 years, size of cyst more than 10 cm, and low resistant intertumor flow. This is a scan of a 20 years age female patient. Chief complaint fieldwork pain. In this pelvic scan, you will see a large dermoid cyst with adjacent small simple cyst. You can see in right ovary dermoid plug, a large dermoid plug round to all shape. As dermoid plug usually contain mature epithelial elements, a combination of skin, hair, teeth, sebum, and discremated epithelium, highly echogenic foci with shadow behind maybe from bone and teeth, as dermoid cyst originate from germ cell, so germ cell form all organ of the bodies. So therefore, dermoid cysts contain hair, skin, teeth, sebum, and epithelium. This is a simple cyst adjacent to dermoid cyst. And if you apply color, so there is no blood flow in dermoid plug. First of all, what is endometriosis? Endometriosis is the presence of functioning endometrial tissue outside uterus. Endometriosis most commonly occurs in the ovary, fallopian tube, broad ligament, and posterior cul de sac. But it can occur almost anywhere in the body, including the bladder and the ball. 
Endometriosis may be diffuse or localized. And diffuse forum. Endometrial implants involve the pelvic viscera and their ligamentous attachment. The diffuse forum is rarely diagnosed on sonography. As implants are too small, these undergo monthly bleeding, resulting in local inflammatory reaction and adhesions. The localized forum consists of discrete mass referred to as endometrioma or chocolate cyst. On sonography, a well-defined cystic mass with diffuse internal grainy echoes is seen. It is to be differentiated from a hemorrhagic cyst, which decrease in size over the next menstrual cycle, whereas endometrioma gets enlarged. This is the case of a 20-year female patient. Complaining of dysmenorrhea in right pelvic pain. In right side, you can see a round shape. Homogeneous cystic lesion. With internal echoes. Presenting as ground glass appearance. With posterior acoustic enhancement. A differentiated from a solid lesion because a solid lesion does not cause any posterior acoustic enhancement. The right ovary is not separately visualized. If you want to differentiate it from a cyst, simple cyst, so we are going to decrease the gain. If it was a simple cyst, it will present as, a, as an unequic structure, but it is still hypoequic with internal echoes in it due to dense echogenic material. So it is a typical chocolate cyst. If we apply a color, so there is no color flow within the cyst. It also differentiated from a solid lesion. If it was a solid lesion, there would be somehow color flow in it. So there is no vascularity within the cyst. We are going to measure it. It is 3.5 and 3.6. It is quite round chocolate cyst.